to John Elliott live in Montclair. Hi, John. Hey, good morning, Cindy. You know, we're here all morning, so make sure you tip your waiters. I got to tell you, I just love this. We're, uh, we did not rehearse this, but I'm going to go with a G minor right now. And uh, Alex is going to accompany the uh, weather with a little autumn in New York. So let's talk about those autumn temperatures right now and get you ready for a nice autumn day in New York. The view in the city right now, I can't help but talk like this when there's a saxophone player playing. Here's the numbers for you. Chilly out the door right now. Look at this. In the park, we're at 43 degrees. Winds out of the northeast at 6. So yesterday, man, it was cold around the area. 40s and 50s, that was it. But... Monticello was only 48 for a high. In and around and close to town, we had numbers like this. It was a little warmer, Newark, uh, LaGuardia, JFK, but the city only hit 51 below normal. Absolutely, that's below normal. And that's where we have been and where we'll stay. Seven degrees below normal yesterday with sunny skies. Similar Saturday right now, you're looking at numbers still missing the mark, but it's a little bit warmer, abundant sunshine. We are going to see more dry conditions, too. It's a big ridge of high High pressure. I mean a big ridge. That is a nasty storm pushing into North Carolina, but the area high pressure that's serving up our sun is keeping it south, so we'll stay dry, and it's been a dry start to the month. Deficit right now, 0.59. Boy, we just go back and forth with the surplus and deficit, but it does mean dry conditions for the marathon. I mean, if you're running, God bless you, all the best, drink lots of water, but plan on cool conditions. Now, the runners are going to love this, but just make sure if you're cheering them on, you have the layers on because you're standing there and it's going to be cold. Seven-day details, again, it stays dry. We are going to see mild conditions on your Monday. I got it. The next chance of rain may be on Veterans Day, but it actually looks a little bit more likely on Friday. Your day today, National Saxophone Day, in honor of Adolf Sax, who invented the instrument in the 1840s. I met this young man, Rodrigo Romero. He, this cat, came all the way from Peru just to play the saxophone. What do you love so much about the saxophone? Uh, I love everything about the saxophone. The people that play the saxophone, the sound, the flexibility, you know, variety of styles you can play with it. It's I mean, just it's, the best instrument ever. I was talking to your instructor, Mike Lee, who's here and at Montclair State, and he said it's the closest thing to the human voice. So we're going to hear some of the magic of this voice, meet some of these other great artists, but uh, I'll get out of the way. I'll let Sen and, and, and Rodrigo play a little music. Go ahead and, and, and start. Let's hear it. The two young ladies you see, 15 and 16 years old, no music, they're just jamming, they're just vibing. That's what Jazz House Kids is all about. Giving these kids the skill they need to make this kind of music. Cindy, I'm loving this, so I'm just gonna let Vince do his magic and let the kids keep making musical magic on National Saxophone Day. They're just gonna take it and play right to the break. Go ahead and make some more music. Cindy, I hope you're loving this as much as I am. We'll have more with the kids and more about this amazing instrument in a bit right now, though. We'll send things right back to you in the studio. Oh, we do love it, John. Thank you so much for this incredible treat.